Hi Danny, it's James. I'm uh, just doing a quick video actually. You can see I've got a tripod for my camera in uh, the sack here. I haven't found out how to do the um, screen capture on two, uh, two screens yet. <laughs> so uh, you see I've got the, uh, the new logging program here. I'll show it you quickly. I don't know if the camera picks it up very well because it doesn't like the light from the monitor. So I've had to put in all kinds of different things. Beautiful, uh, beautiful logging program, it really is. I've got the map on this one here. And uh, just zoom out a bit, but you can see all the different DX spots. What I do like, it comes up with the beam heading. I don't think you can see that. It comes up with the beam heading and uh, how how far away it is from my kit, my QTH. I'll just put it on the tripod a minute. Let me just um, quickly get this on the tripod. One second. Not that easy. I've got a quick release. Um, that's better. Right, let's see if we can. Uh, I'll just see if I can zoom in a minute. A little bit too much. Um, don't know how much you're going to get to see of this, but I'm just going to um, type in your call sign. Let's um, put your call sign in. A. Um, God, I've forgotten it now. Alpha Hotel Six. Fox X-ray. Enter. You'll see that your um, your pictures come up here. The other ones shot over to this side. And with your picture, you can just click on it and uh, it'll bring it up there. Or you can uh, make it even bigger and put it in the center. A bit like engine log on that in that respect. Um, absolutely love this program. It, it's streets ahead of engine log. It works really well with the DX cluster. I usually have it set on the DX cluster. Um, you've got, um, this is my log. And then you've got maps, you've got... Um, Bands, this is quite good. It tells you all the the different um, people on the cluster actually on each band, which is uh, quite handy. Uh, I usually have it sat on DX cluster and I usually have the map. You can actually detach the map. Let me just show you quickly. If I uh, detach the map, if I go log, um, no map, sorry, and um, attach map window, now you'll see that it's actually in the logging program if I just go back to the logging program you'll see that's actually in the logging program itself let me just uh, zoom in a little bit and um, so now it's in the log but I actually because I've got um, three monitors in the shack I actually like to have the actual map on this screen so that's just the way uh, that I have it so basically I've got the radio or oh, I connected on monitor three the logging program in the middle and uh, the map for the cluster on here this is what's really good about this program let me just see if I can show you quickly on the on this screen I can go into the, uh, where it says um, log go down to where it says Google Maps and click Google Maps this will give me an aerial shot of, hang on, did I do that right? Let me let's just try that again. Go to log, Google Maps. Yes. And then on this screen, you'll see it's going to fire up with Google Maps right above your QTH, hopefully. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. Hang on, let's zoom in. That, I do believe, is your QTH. Um, I see someone's got a swimming pool down here. <laughs> you live in a nice neighbourhood. Let me just show you, um, let me just come out of that again. Um, we'll close down, uh, we'll go back to the log. And we're um, putting a call sign, a friend of mine. W4TJE, enter. And works very very quickly this logging program by the way very quick it's a lot quicker than the engine log you can see up the top here it's connected to the radio it also brings up the signal and if I've worked someone before so I'm going to zoom. it's got a little flashing I don't know if you can see it on there it's got an actual little flashing uh, the camera's not that great I need a much better camera really but it's got a little flashing LED that flashes green if I've worked someone before and uh, 
This is a picture of a bear that he uh, took about uh, 20 feet from his backyard. But let me uh, just go to Google Maps a minute on the other screen, go to log, scroll down to Google Maps and you'll see um, when I zoom in on uh, Jack, my friend's QTH, you can see his antenna system. Let me just uh, zoom in. I don't know if you can see that, but here is his um, QTH, uh, is his antenna. This here is his 120 foot tower. I don't know if you can see that on the uh, on the camera there. But um, fantastic uh, logging software. I really do love the cluster and how it brings up all the beam headings automatic, or when you put a, a call sign in. So if I go back to the log now. Um, and let's say uh, I uh, bring back your call sign, uh, Danny G. Let's uh, go there. You'll see that you're, you've come up. I don't know if you can see that on the map with your beam heading and how far away you are. You are uh, 288 degrees from me, 3,619 miles away. But, um, Program. Okay, I've had to. Uh, my uh, uh, let me just detach my camera a minute. Show you the mini Mac. It's absolutely dead silent. This is the mini Mac here. This is a 500 gig SSD drive, and inside is a 256 gig uh, SSD drive. Eight um, eight USB ports on the back. It's absolutely fantastic. Absolutely quiet. I thought I'd put it in uh, this shelving unit. Here I got my amplifier. I think you've seen it before. My uh, antenna switching system which is on the, one of the beams at the moment uh, this is the shack here but, um, to show you again the log the log is absolutely fantastic I really I really do like it it's a pit you can't see it better in the camera because um, it's really nice to having uh, the log at the top and just selecting what you want either the cluster and You've got memories as well, so you can bring up memories. Let me just quickly show you that if I can. Um, memories, like the memories in the radio. This is for the awards. It tells you what awards you need. And um, IOTAs and whatever. QSL is for uh, QSL, so you can create your cards if you're into that. Not, I'm not. This here is handy. History, you can just scroll down and then just click and it'll go straight to uh, straight to that contact. It's uh, really, really nice. There it is. I've just changed it across. And you can see that it's changed on the frequency as well. Um, you're up here now on this side. I can pull you up there. And uh, I thought I'd just do you a, a quick video of it. It is, a, without a doubt, the best logging program uh, I've ever had and I shan't be, uh, I shan't ever be using, I'll, I'll show you real quickly, when a cluster comes in here you'll see the map change, because I've got it set at the moment on auto lookup, you can turn it off and on, or you can actually have it so it sets, so it'll change the radio separately as well, it will read both VFOs on the radio, I can basically go up here and just select VFO A or VFO B and just change it and the frequency would change. Usually keep it on VFOA. And you'll see the map has changed as a DX, um, as uh, it comes in on the cluster. And it's really good because it gives you a picture of where the propagation's uh, going. I'll just see if I can show you that. Might, another one might come in in a minute. And you'll see it change again. It is really nice, really graphical. Um, just looks really nice. I think it's got to be the best logging program I've ever used. There's features on it that are just not available in engine log. It's streets streets ahead. I love the uh, I love the way that you can just um, click on the. I'll just show you quickly. You can click on a call sign here, and it will just go straight to it. See that's loading up, and there it is there. And um, it's just a brilliant. Brilliant program. Really do like it. You can see it's 
change the game. And as a new one comes in, the map will change. You can see like, all the different um, cluster spots uh, up on the map there. It's brilliant when you've got the three monitors in the, sh in the shack. And uh, I always usually keep the logbook in the middle. And um, one thing I like is the font. You can change the fonts and everything, but um, it's so clear, much much clearer than Engine Log. I think it's so uh, nice. In the in the cluster, different colours represent different things. Green if you've worked them, red if you've not worked them before, and black if they're actually in your log. So um, yeah, it's, it's great. And uh, I like the way you can set here the um, what bands you want on the on the cluster. You can set it to auto tune or auto look up, or you can change whatever um, cluster you want to go on. But anyway, I thought I'd just give you a, a quick, um, a very quick video that I'm going to upload to YouTube uh, later. And uh, very pleased with it. I tell you, it's the best logging program I've ever used. It's absolutely fabulous. And I'm discovering things on it all the time. You can see the, that map's just changed again. Just um, show you here. It's changed, obviously, to uh, the United States. So, um, I like how it gives you uh, the frequency. And it's just changed again. One coming in off uh, Madagascar. I don't know if you can see that. It gives you the beam heading. And so forth. I'm really pleased I changed to Mac in the shack. Um, so it's Boxing Day morning, and I'm just about to uh, go out and uh, get some potatoes so I can get some nice bubbling squeak and my cold turkey done for the family here. And I thought I'd just uh, quickly uh, come in the shack here and just do this quick video for you. So uh, I'm going to upload it to YouTube now, and hopefully you'll get this a bit later. You'll have to tell me what you think, but I think it's absolutely fabulous, mate. It's really, really good. I'm really pleased I've done it. 7-3, speak to you soon. Bye-bye.